Hi, I'm Aaron. I'm Albert. And we're part of the family that runs Din Tai Fung in the United States. Our grandpa opened Din Tai Fung in 1958 as a cooking oil retail store. And in 1972, he converted it to a restaurant with only four tables. And you know, because of his dedication to service and the quality of food, it started getting recognized abroad. And that's really how it started and it kind of grew from there. Xiao Long Bao means soup dumpling. Xiao means small, Long means basket, and Bao means dumpling. So literally translated, it means little dumpling in a basket. The Xiao Long Bao is so special because there's soup inside the dumpling, which makes it so hard to make. It's just also a food that's so different than, than anything you've had before. Nothing really has that burst of flavor in your mouth like a soup dumpling does. The Xiao Long Bao skin is very basic ingredients. Flour, water, and the fermented starter, they go in the mixer and we put it in the machine for several minutes. After the dough is mixed up, the dough is placed into the dough sheeter. It takes about six to 10 times to knead the dough to create that perfect Xiao Long Bao skin. Xiao Long Bao is really a very difficult thing to make, especially up to Din Tai Fung standards because we really want every dumpling to be the same. So it takes three to six months for someone to even learn the basics of how to make the Xiao Long Bao. And it takes years and years to truly master the craft of making it. Yeah, it felt really good to finally make one that was up to the quality of Din Tai Fung because probably made like 10,000 that we had to throw away before we made the first one. Yeah, we spent months and years practicing and, and it was really nice finally being able to put one and being able to sell it up to the quality that we achieved. Every single dumpling is weighed down to the gram, including every single dumpling skin. So the ideal weight that we're going for is five grams. We don't pass anything unless it's between 4.8 or 5.2 grams. So I think the, the way we make our dumpling skins is really special because we make it thinner on the outside rim and thicker in the center. And the reason for that is because with a thinner outside edge, you can make a very delicate crimp so that you don't have a very thick knot at the top of the dumpling. And we definitely pride ourselves on having the thinnest skins of all the Shalom Bao stores out there. So everyone needs to work very quickly because the skin dries out in the manner of just a couple minutes. Everything needs to be kept extremely fresh to deliver the best quality to our customers. The flavor of a soup dumpling, a lot of it comes from the soup itself, and we make the soup from a really rich bone broth of chicken and pork. And from there, we have to figure out how to get the soup into the dumpling. And the way we do that is by gelatinizing the soup and turning it into a jello form. And then once that you're able to wrap it up in a dumpling, when you steam it, it turns back into a soup. Um, over the years, Din Tai Fung has discovered that 18 folds is the golden ratio. It brings a perfect amount of uh, both texture and the best aesthetics to each Xiao Long Bao that we make. So a lot of restaurants, they make their Xiao Long Bao with a machine or they make a lot of them and freeze them. But here at Din Tai Fung, we don't really care about making the process easier. We think that even though a machine makes it easier, you lose a lot in the process because it's such a delicate food. Um, so we choose to make our dumplings by hand and to order. We steam them inside of a bamboo steamer. We think that's actually a really important part of the flavor component of the dumpling because some of that bamboo flavor ends up seeping into the skin. If you're eating it for the first time, it's really special because when you bite into it, you get really an explosion of flavors from the soup that you know kind of bursts out when it's in your mouth and it's just like truly unique experience. It's a lot for us to take over the business because you know we pretty much grew up in this environment and we really think it's important that we have the opportunity to take authentic Chinese cuisine to the mainstream and really change people's perceptions of what Chinese cuisine can be. It brings great pride to me when one of our customers or guests come up to us and, and they tell us, oh, how proud we are of bringing this Chinese experience to the United States and just how proud they are to be Chinese and it really means a lot to us.